Hello guys, welcome to this series of CAN interview questions brought to you by Vichara Vandana. In each video, we will discuss a particular question for interview on CAN protocol. I shall not focus on the basic knowledge testing questions like draw the data frame format or what are the types of CAN errors etc which has direct straightforward answers. If you are interested in learning the CAN protocol from scratch to expert level, then please enroll in my Udemy course Master CAN Protocol Completely from Scratch. The details of the course and the discount coupon code and the links are given in the description of this video. But in this interview question series, we shall focus on those kind of questions which are scenario and situation oriented and you shall need CAN protocol basics to solve them. Each video will give you one question and a detailed answer for that. We shall also check your understanding on CAN protocol. So without wasting any time, let us jump directly into the first question. See this ECU CAN network and let us say you are testing the ECU. Now if you want to create a bus off scenario then how would you do it and how does it work? Please explain. To answer this question you need to have understanding of the CAN logic that is dominant bit, recessive bit, CAN high, CAN low bus, the physical layer part and about the CAN bit error the error counters and what is bus off and obviously about the CAN frame format. So let us walk through this scenario. In order to create the bus off in ECU, you need the transmitter error counter value to cross 255. When TEC crosses 255, the ECU will enter the bus off and TEC will increment upon the transmit errors. Now in CAN protocol, there are two transmit errors. They are bit error and acknowledgement error. In order to create acknowledgement error, you need to make sure that none of the nodes in the network will provide positive acknowledgement to the frame transmitted by your ECU. But handling of CAN protocol and providing acknowledgement part, these all are completely handled by the hardware of the CAN controller and hence it cannot be controlled. So incrementing TEC by means of acknowledgement error is out of the question. Then let us focus on the bit error part now. So bit error is occurred when the ECU monitors a different bit than it transmitted. So if ECU sends a dominant bit and finds a recessive bit on the bus or sends a recessive bit and finds a dominant bit on the bus then the bit error is occurred and the transmit error counter will increase. So let us analyze these both cases. First, if we short the CAN high line to 3.5 volts and CAN low line to 1.5 volts so that the difference voltage is 2 volts always, then we can say the CAN bus is stuck at the dominant level. But if the bus is stuck at dominant level, then the ECU will never start transmitting the frame as it thinks the bus is not idle. Remember idle state is a recessive state. So since there is no transmitting of the frame, there is no transmit error causing. So the TEC won't increment and EC will not enter the bus off. So forcing the bus off by making the bus to dominant level is out of the question now. So if you force the CAN high and CAN low line both to 2.5 volts or make the differential voltage as 0 volts by just shorting the CAN high and CAN low, then we can force the bus on the recessive state. Now your ECU will think the bus is idle and try to transmit its free. But during the first bit, that is SOF, startup frame bit only, it finds that it sent a dominant bit, but the CAN bus has recessive state. So a bit error is detected at the first bit of the frame itself. That means the TEC will increment upwards as a bit error is a transmit error. 
and upon multiple error flags and multiple transmission retries the tc will keep on incrementing and incrementing and incrementing and it will cross 255u and then ecu goes into bus off so to answer this question in a single sentence to force the ecu into bus off state just short the can high and can low lines and the reason and thought process is already explained to you in this video i hope you enjoyed this question and answer please like this video and comment your thoughts and feedback and subscribe for no more such videos check out my channel too and if some concepts are not clear in this video then you can master the can protocol completely from my udemy course whose details and link are given in the description have a nice day bye